we will start the series with very basic question what are the two commonly used sizes of rubber stoppers in pharmaceutical industry 30 mm rubber stoppers and 20 mm rubber stoppers are commonly used in pharmaceutical industry you can refer below pictorial presentation for understanding sizes of rubber stoppers used in pharma industry which material is commonly used as moc for rubber stoppers bromobutyl rubber stoppers and chlorobutyl rubber stoppers are commonly used in pharmaceutical industry other materials like silicone neoprene nitrile and natural rubber are also used as moc for rubber stoppers these stoppers are available in rto that is ready to use and rts that is ready to sterilize format fluorocoated stoppers and stoppers siliconized with silicon rubber are also available what is basic difference between liquid type and lye type rubber stoppers for lye flation process vented rubber stoppers are commonly used these are typically igloo two legged or three legged designs during the lye flation process after the drug product is frozen the ice crystal sublimates via the vents in the stopper you can refer below photographs of igloo type design two leg type design and three leg type design what are the advantages and disadvantages of butyl rubber stoppers advantage of using butyl rubber stopper is their permeability to water vapor water absorption is very low and they are relatively cheaper as compared to the other synthetic rubbers they come with the few disadvantages like low decomposition takes place above the 130 degrees celsius and oil and solvent resistance is not very good which methods are commonly used for sterilization of rubber stoppers the most common methods to sterilize rubber closures or stoppers are autoclaving that is by using saturated steam and second is gamma irradiation method what are the key requirements for rubber stoppers as per pda that is parental drug association the basic requirements are low bio burden low particle shading property low endotoxin content good temperature withstand property and machinability this one is very important question for aseptic processing question is what are guideline requirements for rubber stoppers for cleanliness as per usp guideline rubber stoppers should be practically free from visible particles as per european guideline rubber stoppers should be essentially be without visible particles unless otherwise justified and authorized as per japan regulations rubber stoppers must be clear and free from readily detectable particles what are the different processes to achieve requirements for rubber stoppers there are majorly three processes by which we can achieve requirements for rubber stoppers first is washing by washing endotoxin reduction and particle reduction can be done second is sterilization this is done to reduce bio burden and third is drying to reduce residual moisture This one is also important question for sterile manufacturing question is why rubber stopper sterilization is important answer is rubber stoppers are primary packaging components or materials that come into direct contact with the product and can cause contamination to the product usage of non sterile rubber stoppers can break sterility of vials or pfs wherever they have used This is one more important question which guidelines guide about rubber stoppers used in pharmaceutical industry PDS technical report number 76 that is identification and classification of visible non conformities in elastomeric components and aluminum seals for parental packaging is most commonly referred guideline along with this USP chapter number 788 and EN285 also referred for rubber stopper handling in pharmaceutical industry What defects can be identified during visual inspection of rubber stoppers here nine major defects are mentioned which can be identified during visual inspection of rubber stoppers first particulate matter second embedded particles third malformed stoppers fourth color changes fifth rubber too soft or too hard sixth fragment seventh lamination defect eighth trim edges and ninth stopper fragments What is requirement for endotoxin test, particulate test, and bio burden test for rubber stoppers after sterilization process? 
for endotoxin at least 3 log reduction as per FDA guidance on industry September 2004 and November 1994 for particulate fewer than 2000 for 10 micrometer particles and fewer than 200 for 25 micrometer particles as per USP chapter number 788 for bio burden sterility assurance level that is SAL sal of 6 log reduction as per FDA guidance for industry September 2004 and November 1994 what quality control tests that are done for rubber stoppers following are the seven quality control tests that are done for rubber stopper first sterility test second fragmentation test third self sealability fourth ph of aqueous extract fifth light absorption test sixth reducing substance and seventh residue on evaporation why extractable and leachable study done for rubber stoppers extractable and leachable study performed to determine potential toxicity concerns due to rubber stoppers keep watching farmgo subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry